Good evening, I'm Craig Smith. It happened in the early morning hours, a vacant building that burned and set fire to two adjacent buildings. As Lynn Falsetti shows us, some of the people who live in that area are getting fed up with fires. I don't care if they get the National Guard down here, they need to do something to protect us. Those who live on 2nd Avenue in Troy's Lansingburg neighborhood looked on in fear as investigators worked to determine what caused a fire that displaced two families and destroyed three buildings. Calls came in around 3 Sunday morning, evacuating many from their homes as the wind quickly spread the flames. One woman who did not want to show her face on camera says she was evacuated from this home in the early morning hours, thinking she too would lose everything. Especially because the one next to me is vacated, you know, and I'm, I was afraid that would definitely go, and then I was afraid mine would go. Take a look at the damage at 809 Second Avenue. That home is completely destroyed, but luckily nobody was living in it at the time. But it quickly spread next door here to 803 Second Avenue, and a family was living inside of there. Also on the other side here at 811 Second Avenue, that one also occupied. Fire investigators haven't officially linked this fire to a string of arsons in Lansingburg, but are still warning residents here to be extra vigilant. Yeah, absolutely. There's concern. Uh, you know, we try and keep these guys safe. Uh, that's our number one priority is, is safety, safety of the residents. Uh, what we ask people to do is, you know, keep your lights on. If you see something, say something. You know, don't hesitate to call 911. But Councilman James Gordon says waiting to take action is not an option. The buildings are being set on fire. And, and densely occupied neighborhoods, and there's been no arrest now for over a year. He's asking for not only an increase in patrols, but surveillance cameras. They are fearful, and rightfully so, and we can't continue to sit idle. Someone needs to step up, and someone needs to make a decision to put more officers on the street, more patrols on the street to try to catch an arsonist. There has to be more police. There's, there's no choice at this point, as far as I'm concerned. There is no choice. And, and you were captive in this neighborhood. You couldn't give your property away af after this. Who's going to, who wants to live here? Leon Nielsen has lived on this block for 29 years and says it's only a matter of time before someone is killed. We're, we're sitting here totally vulnerable, just waiting for somebody to come and burn our house down. In Troy, Lynn Falsetti, CBS 6 News. And that fire was about 10 blocks from the most recent arson fire, the one on 3rd Avenue on December 27th. If you know anything about these fires, police say they'd like to hear from you.